Job chapter 1 verse 20. Job chapter 1 verse 20. Then Job arose, tore his robe, and shaved his head. And he fell to the ground and worshipped. And he said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I shall return there. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this, Job did not sin, nor charge God with any wrong. In Swahili it says, Ndipo ayubu wakasimama, akararua joholake na kunyua nywelezake, kisha akanguka chini katika kwa budu, na kusema nilitoka tumboni mwa mama yangu uchi, na amini taondoka uchi. Bwana alinipa, nae bwana ameviondoa. Jina la bwana litukuzwe, katika mambo haya yote, ayubu hakutenda dhambi, kwa kumulaumu mungu, Kwa kufanya ubaya. Shall we pray? Mighty and everlasting Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we come before you this afternoon. We thank you for the gift of life, good health, and strength, and a right mind. As we enter into your word, we stand with the book of John 3.30, which declares he must increase and I must decrease. I disappear that he may appear. As we share these few thoughts, Father, I pray that the entrance of your word will bring light and give understanding to the simple. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus and we serve notice to the enemy that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. King of glory, we pray that you may take charge in this service. May you touch lives, O oh Father, and may you give us hope for tomorrow. And we declare that the enemy has no room in this place. And Father, this house is covered by your blood. At the end of it all, all the glory, praise, and honor will come back to you. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer in Jesus' mighty name. And somebody say a big amen. Amen. Right there also in Job chapter 2 verse 10, the Bible says, But he said to her, You speak as one of the foolish women speaks. Shall we indeed accept good from God? And shall we not accept adversity? Again, in all this, Job did not sin with his lips. Yakubu alimjibu mkewe, wewe unaongea kama mwanamke wanawake wapumbavu. Tukipo, tukipokea mema kutoka kwa mungu, kwa nini tukatae kupokea pia mabaya kutoka kwake? Katika mambo haya yote, yobu wa maayubu, haku, haku tamka neno lolote la kumkosea mungu. I am speaking from the title, The Goodness of God. The Goodness of God. Of God. Um, this week, wiki hii katika ibada, I mean katika, I think it was on Thursday as I was sharing with my mother over the phone. Um, um, as I was sharing with my mother over the phone and we were reflecting over our life over the many things that we have gone through. And one statement that my mother told me over the phone is that indeed God has been good to us. It does not mean that we have not gone through challenges. It does not mean that we have not shed tears. It does not mean that we have not had heartache and pain and sorrow. But when we look over our life, when we look over our ministry, when we look over what the Lord has done for us in many, many times, indeed we can say that we have seen the goodness of the Lord. I don't know how many of us can say like that, despite the challenges of yesterday, despite the challenges of what the situation that we are going through now, do we have the confidence to say, that indeed God has been good. God is good in all situations. Blessed be the name of the living God. In whatever, when we are high, God is good. When we are low, God is good. When times are happy, God is good. When times are sad, God is good. In every situation, I want to say confidently that God is good at all times. And at all times, God is 
And that is what? That is his nature. But looking at the scripture that we have read, to paraphrase and to move faster, uh, tunapata ya kwamba ayubu aliposema the Lord gives and the Lord takes away, blessed be the name of the living God. Job alikuwa amepata mambo mazito. Remember, in the beginning of that, of that chapter, we find Job, the Lord says that he was one of the most holy men in the Bible. He was son in chapter 1, it says there was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job, and that man was blameless, hakuwa na hatia, and upright, and one who feared God and shunned evil. Ayubu alikuwa mtu ambaye anampenda mungu, Na moyo wake wote. And you remember, at that time, there was a meeting of the angels, the sons of God. They came to the Lord and Satan also presented himself. Remember that Satan was an angel, but he's a fallen angel because he rebelled against God. And now Satan, alipojitokeza, God asked a question, have you considered my servant Job? One who is upright and blameless before me. And Satan said, Yani, ni kwa nini anakupenda hivo kwa sababu umembariki kwa mambo yake yote na umemwekea ukuta ambaye hakuna mtu anaweza kumugusa. And then he said, ukiondoa mkono wako kutoka kwake, yeye atakulaani kwa uso wako na afe. So God said, then I have left I have given you charge over Job, but do not touch his life. And when this man was very rich, because the Bible says that he had, um, he had 7,000 sheep. Then he had 500 yoke of oxen. Then he had also 500 female donkeys. And he had 3,000 camels. This man, if he was living in Kenya today, Angekuwa naitua bazenga. Eh. Yani mdosi wa wadosi. Na sasa shetani alipomfikia yubu. Shetani kwa sababu yeye ni mwaribifu. Kariga kitabu cha John 10.10. 10, the thief comes to kill, to steal and to destroy. But Christ says I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. So now the, the, the Sabians came. And when the Sabians came... They came and stole the oxen and the donkeys. And remember, these oxen were yoked, meaning that there were two on every yoke. So there were a thousand oxen, and those ones were stolen, and the workers were killed. Alafu baadai, then fire from heaven came, lightning, and it, and it, it slaughtered or it, it killed all the sheep plus the servants, 7,000 of them. And then the Chaldeans came. And the Chaldeans took the 3,000 camels. Ngamia elfutatu. Na zikachukuliwa. Na iku isitoshe. Ayubu alikuwa na watoto kumi. Vijana saba. Na wana binti watatu. Na upepo kavuma. Walikuwa katika nyumba ya fastborn mzaliwa wakwanza. Upepo ulipovuma katika nyumba hiyo. Walikuwa wanajivinjari hapo. Wametulia wana kula kanyama so hiyo vile kanyama kanikuwa wakatamu. lakini upepo ukapiga nyumba huo na, na, ma, na ukuta za nyumba hizo zikawaangukia watoto na wakafa ayubu aliletewa ripoti hiyo yote aliposikia mambo haya job tore his clothes alirua nguo zake and he put on ash cloth and he said naked i came from my mother's womb and naked I shall return. The Lord gives and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And in all this, Job did not sin against God. When we go through challenges, do we look back and start blaming God? Kusema bwana kwa nini umekubali haya mambo ya nitoke? Kwa nini umekubali biashara yangu yaribike? Kwa nini umekubali nyumba yangu ivunjike? Lakini Ayubu 
alimwabudu Bwana akasema aligia bila chochote na atatoka bila kitu na jina la Yesu lipewe sifa nina point tatu peke yake the first point is the problems of job the problems of job and i see that these problems the first thing that i see is that there were personal problems these problems were affecting him he lost his 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 money he lost his wealth he lost his family these were personal things hata ukiangalia tena wakati shetani alirudi katika chapter 2 na shetani akamwambia hujakubali niguse mwili wake nikigusa mwili wake naye atakulaani naye hata shetani alikuwa ameingilia mke wake na mke wake akamwambia why don't you cast god and die na ayubu akamwambia je tutakubali mema kutoka kwa bwana na tukatae mabaya kutoka kwake hapana kama Mungu amekubali mabaya nifikie nitayachukua vile vile nilichukua mema kutoka kwa Bwana jina la Yesu lipewe sifa haleluya these problems were personal and you can see a trend here because it started with one bad news and another na unaweza kujiuliza hapo why does god allow bad things to happen to good people but i want to remind you my brother and my sister that even in the beginning of time from the day of adam and eve god gave us a choice and because satan that accuser of the brethren that deceiver because he deceived the first family that is adam and eve and they ate of the tree of life and the eyes were open macho yao ilipofunguliwa wakaona ya kwamba wako uchi that is when sin entered and the bible says in john 16:33 these things have i told you that in me you may have peace in this world you shall have tribulations but be of good cheer i have overcome the world hallelujah i said hallelujah so because of the adamic sin problems come to everyone hakuna yule ambaye ako immune na problems changamoto zitakuja maishani penda usipende kuna wakati ya kuwa kucheka kama vile iliandikwa katika kitabu cha muhubiri na kuna wakati ambao pia hatutacheka lakini Mungu anabaki kuwa mwema katika hali zote kama unaamini sema amen basi ayubu alipoangalia mambo haya akaona ya kwamba mambo si hayapendi but there was a trend kakuja kondoo zikaenda ngamia zikaenda punda zikaenda ngombe zikaenda mambo mengi akapoteza kisha ile ambayo ilikuwa the final nail akaambiwa watoto wako wote wameenda yule amebaki peke yake ni mke wako Ayubu nilingoja akuwa na asira sana. Hakuwe kama vile Elijah alisema. Kasema hata afadhali nife alipokuwa anafukuzwa na Jezebel. Lakini Ayubu because he was a humble man because he knew his God because alinyenyekea mbele za Mungu na kwa sababu alimpenda Mungu na kwa sababu alijua mambo haya yote ni Mungu amenipa. Akasema nilikuja uchi na nitaondoka uchi. Haleluya. Nasema haleluya. Shida hizi za Ayubu. I see them that they were also enduring problems. Zilikaa, sio rahisi kupoteza vitu hizi zote. Na akakaa akiwa hata mwili wake ukaanza kutoa boils, ukaanza kutoa vidonda. Yaani Ayubu aliangalia maisha akasema yani hapa ni kama kimeumana. Katika kitabu cha Ayubu 5:7 Job Chapter 5 verse 7 the Bible says yet man is born unto trouble as the sparks fly upward lakini mwanadamu huzaliwa ili kutabika kwa hakika kama cheche za moto zirukavyo kuelekea juu na ayubu uh, 14 job 14 verse 1 the bible says man that is born of a woman is of few days and full of trouble 
mwanadamu aliyezaliwa na mwanamke siku zake ni chache nazo zimejaa taabu so taabu wakati mmoja au mwingine lazima zitupate na lazima zije kwetu lakini how we respond and how we look at trouble is what determines what god will do with our lives hallelujah point number two, the one the first one was the problems of job number two is job's perspective mtazamo wake in trouble job's perspective in trouble what i i want to ask a question what comes your way or what do you do first nini wewe ufanya kwanza when trouble comes your way what is the first response that you have when trouble comes when trouble comes is your response bad or is your response good when you see trouble as job asked his wife do you charge god foolishly je unamlaumu mungu kwa ujinga au kwa upumbavu shida zinapotokea kwa sababu biblia inasema in him we move in him we live in him we have our being yani mungu anatujua na yeye mwenyewe ndio anaweza kukubali hata shida zitufikie up to a certain point haleluya ukiangalia katika maisha ya ayubu na shangaa sana vile ayubu ali respond because you know how you perceive things it's what forms your attitude your perception forms your attitude when you perceive things in a negative way you will always have a negative attitude but when you perceive things in a positive way you will always have a positive attitude ni kama vile mtu angalia kikombe ikiwa nusu na maji is it half empty or half full what is your perspective i want to believe in my heart that god job understood that god in all these things god has a plan for his life because in jeremiah 29:11 the bible says for i know the thoughts that i think towards you says the lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and to give you a hope your perspective determines your attitude Biblia inasema katika Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7 As a man thinketh in his heart so is he Vile unatazama mambo katika moyo wako hivyo ndiyo huko Kama wewe ni mtu wa kunungunika mtazamo wako ni kuona tu everything ikiwa mbaya Hata saa hii watu wakiangalia kuna ule atamka aambie Mungu asante leo kuna jua Leo mambo iko sawa mwingine anasema haijua inatuchoma sana yani it all depends upon the attitude that you have haleluya kuna story ambayo nilisoma ikanichekesha sana hata wale walikuwa karibu na mimi kama wangeniona wangedhani mimi ni kichaa inaitwa story ya this is good sema this is good a story is told of an african king um, who he grew up in royalty and so he had a best friend and this african king had this wonderful friend of his and uh, this friend used to say this is good all the time when he was faced with challenges alikuwa anasema this is good and this king loved to go hunting so much with his gun i think he had a shotgun or, or whatever a g3 so he would go and his friend would always load the bullets in the gun for the king so that the king would go into the jungle and hunt game So one day as they had gone out to um, to hunt so this man his friend i think he put the, the 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 bullets in the wrong way so when the king tried to pull the trigger it backfired on him and then it blew out out his his, uh, his thumb so this king was very angry kwa sababu jamaa badala am am msaidie kuweka vitu vizuri sasa king hana kidole akakasirika sana na akasema huyu mtu awekwe ndani kwa sababu afanyi kazi yake vizuri now i am a king how will i even sign checks if i have to sign anything now i don't have a thumb so the man was put in jail for one whole year then it happened it so happened 
that the king always wanted to go for these hunting expeditions. So this one day, he went in a very dangerous place where there were rebels and cannibals. And I think his, his security wasn't that good. So while he was hunting for game, because when you hunt, you're very quiet, he was, he, was, he was attacked and he was taken captives by cannibals. Wale watu ambayo wanakula watu. Sasa wakashika king, wakaenda wakamweka, waka, wakatengeneza kuni, wakaeka kuni, wakamuhang kwa sababu hawa watu ukula watu. Na kabla wawashe moto, wakamuangalia vizuri wakaona u king, hana kidole. Na ka, because those people were so superstitious, wakasema atuwezi kula jamaa ambayo hayuko completely whole. So wakasema, eh, toe ni ujamaa neza tuletea muhadhara, ata tuletea nuksi hapa. So, wakamfungu, wakamambia weenda zako. So as the king was going back home, haka shanga, haka fikiri, haka sema, you know, yani ujamaa nilimueka ndani, na, ni vile yani, kama hai kidole ingekua, pengine ningeenda. So haka enda katika jela, haka tora, haka sambia rafiki yake, I am so sorry, nimekueka ndani mwaka mzima, nisamehe sana. Yula rafiki yake akasema this is good. This is good. Hai? King akashanga. Akamuuliza what is so good na ni mimi nimekuweka korokoroni mwaka mmoja na ungekaa hapa. Akasema well, the reason I'm saying this is good is because kama haungeniweka ndani tungekuwa mimi na wewe tunafanya hunting. Na kama tungeshikwa mimi ndio ningekulwa kwa sababu mimi vidole yangu yote niko nayo. Amen. Ndiyo mana anasema this is kwa sababu mtazamo wake maishani ni kwa mambo yote anasema this is good. So kuwa mtu kama ayubu hata kama alipitia mambo mazito anasema this is good. Because mungu hawezi kulipitisha hapa kama hana makusudi mengine juu ya maisha yangu. Hallelujah. Ambia jirani yako where God is taking you. There is a greater glory behind all the pain. Na umalizia umambia this is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the last point, point number three, is Job's declaration on the goodness of God. Job alipoangalia mambo haya yote akashangaa sana i want to believe that his heart was heavy i want to believe that job was crying inside i want to believe that he thought many things but he did not allow his thoughts to go too far hallelujah he recognized the sufficiency of god because he said naked i came from my mother's womb and naked I shall return there. What does that mean? Job understood that the things of this world are temporal. Mambo ya dunia hii yanapita si ya kuka. They are not permanent. And he also recognized that the things that he had were gifts from God. Aliangalia zile ngombe mifugo zote Anasema hizi zote ni vipawa kutoka Mungu. Mke wake ni kipawa kutoka Mungu. Watoto wake ni vipawa kutoka Mungu. Lakini yeye mwenyewe akasema, mimi nilikuja peke yangu. Na nitatoka peke yangu. Hallelujah. I came with nothing and I will take nothing from this world. It is the Lord that gives and is the Lord that taketh away. Hallelujah. He looked at the sufficiency of God. Akasema ya kwamba, Mimi nilikuja nikiwa mtoto. Nilizaliwa nikiwa uchi. Lakini mungu ametembea na ayubu. Hizi siku zote. Amekua muaminifu kwake. Amempatia mali. Amempatia jamii. Amemwezesha kuwa na uhai. Akasema haya yote ni vipawa kutoka kwa Mungu. Kwa sababu sana sana sisi waangalie upendo wa Mungu kupitia au kulingana na vile Mungu ametubariki. 
Wewe kuwa hapa leo ni kwa sababu Mungu anakupenda. Haleluya. Kuna wengine katika hospitali, kuna wengine mitaani, kuna wengine wamekosa tamaa ya maisha, hawana matumaini, lakini wewe ukiwa hapa na unaendelea vizuri ni kwa sababu Mungu anakupenda. Haleluya. Job also recognized the sovereignty of God. Ndiye akasema the Lord gave and the Lord taketh away. Everything we do, everything we have, it is the Lord. It is the Lord that has given us the ability to create wealth. It is the Lord that has given us the heart to have relationship. It is the Lord that has given us everything that we have. Hakuna kitu uko nayo ambaye Mungu hajakupatia. Ni anasema the Lord gives. Usiwahi fikiria hata siku moja ya kwamba Bwana hajakupatia. It is the Lord that gives. And also he recognized the superiority of God. Akasema blessed be the name of the Lord. Yaani huyo ni mtu wa kusema blessed be the name of the Lord. Kupitia mambo haya yote na bado wanasema jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Kuna kitu ambao nilifanya nianze kufikiria. What is this goodness of the Lord? Nikashangaa sana and I was looking into the scriptures. It took me to Exodus 33. And in Exodus 33 we find Moses and the children of Israel they were at the foot of Mount Sinai and these children of Israel Mungu alikuwa amechoka na wao akawaita a stiff naked people akasema sitaenda na nyinyi tena akasema nimewapatia the land that is flowing with milk and honey nimewapatia nyinyi muende huko mkakae huko lakini mimi sitaenda na nyinyi lakini Musa akasema kama nimepata kibali mbele zako usipoenda na sisi kutoka hapa nasi hatutatoka hapa alafu wakiendelea kunena pamoja na Mungu Mungu akamwambia you can come into the tent of meeting and when he was there in the presence of God kuna kitu Musa alisema akamwambia Bwana show me your glory na Mungu akamwambia katika verse 19 Exodus 33 and 19 and the bible says and he said i will make all my goodness pass before thee and i will pre- and will proclaim the name of the lord before thee and i will be gracious to whom I'm gra- i will be gracious and i will show mercy on whom i will show mercy hallelujah when the lord passed by moses because he did not allow him to see his face because he said no one will see my face and live but to show him his glory the bible says that the lord says i will show you my goodness in other words the goodness of the lord is the glory of god hallelujah yani wema wa mungu ni utukufu wake na kila mmoja wetu hapa leo ameona wema wa Mungu katika maisha yake na fa- wakati mmoja au mwingine. Pengine unataka kuona mambo yakiwa mazito, pengine unataka kuona eh, ngurumo itoe ka- ke- kelele kabisa, uone lightning na strike, ndio useme umeona Mungu. Lakini nakuja ni kuambia mpendwa that all of us have had an encounter with the glory of God. When you look over your life where you started and where you are now it is only by the grace of God and the goodness of the Lord that you are still alive when the Lord has prepared a table for you in the presence of your enemies that is the goodness of the Lord when the Lord has healed you from a sick bed and now you are able even to put your hands together and worship him it is nothing but the goodness of the lord hallelujah what you have done wameona mungu kwa sababu wameinunua gari mpya au wamejenga au wameoa au wamejifungua 
lakini tunazungukwa na wema wa Mungu kila mahali tuko yani tunaona milango tu inafunguka wengine wamepandishwa vyeo hata kama hawaqualify ni kwa sababu ya wema wa Mungu juu ya maisha yako haleluya ndio maana Daudi alisema katika katika Psalms 23 verse 6 surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life kuna mchungaji mmoja aliishiwa na mafuta barabarani aliona taa ya mafuta imeisha kwa gari imewaka sana na yeye alikuwa ni mchungaji mzee akiwa na mke wake na wakaona badala ya kuendesha gari hii mpaka iishe mafuta afadhali tusimamishe tujaribu kusimamisha watu mtu anipeleke kwa petrol station na anirudishe ndio at least niweke gari mafuta isikwame barabarani basi wakasimama nje ya gari kwa sababu walikuwa wachungaji wazee wakaanza kusimamisha watu watu wakapita lakini kuna ndugu mmoja aliona hawa ni wazee kama wazazi wangu siwezi kuwaacha akasimamisha gari alafu au yule mchungaji akaja akamwambia nilikuwa naenda mahali na gari yangu haina mafuta ninaomba kama unaweza kunipeleka kwa petrol station nigaweke gari mafuta alafu nirudi huyo ndugu akasema hii mataa ya gari acha fanya hivi mchungaji wewe endesha gari yako na mimi nitakufuata nyuma na nitakufuata nyuma mahali itaishia itakuwa shorter distance kuenda bao kwa petrol station na kurudi basi wakaingia kwa magari yao yule ndugu akiwa nyuma ya gari ya mchungaji na ya mchungaji alikuwa anaenda akiangalia rear view mirror anaona lile gari anatoa mkono anampungia alafu anaendelea muujiza ukafanyika hiyo gari haikuisha mafuta alienda mpaka kwa petrol station hivyo ndiyo Mungu yuko pamoja nasi ah katika maisha yetu katika njia zetu yeye yako nyuma anasema goodness and mercy zitatufuata popote tuendapo tunajua nyuma yetu kuna wema na fadhili zake haleluya hata nikipitia mambo mazito namna gani i know goodness and mercy is behind me it shall follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever i know his blessings are there i know open doors are there i know restoration is there because the lord is with me he said he will never leave me no he will never forsake me the goodness of god daudi alisema katika psalms 27:13 i would have lost heart but i believed i would see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living hallelujah kwa sababu daudi kuna wakati karibu wapigwa mawe na majeshi yake kuna wakati karibu watu akajifanya hata yeye ni kichaa hakuna wakati alifuatwa na sauli sana lakini hakukata tamaa akasema i believe ninaamini i will see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living nimekuja nikwambie mpendwa trouble will not last always kuna mtu alisema every problem has an expiry date kila shida kuna siku itaisha na utaona wema wa Bwana nataka nimalizie nikikwambia ya kwamba wewe pia utaona wema wa Bwana na wewe pia umekutana na wema wa Bwana ninapoona wazazi wangu naona wema wa Bwana ninapoona dada yangu naona wema wa Bwana ninapoona wachungaji naona wema wa Bwana ninapoona jamii yetu naona wema wa Bwana ninaomba kwamba Mungu afungue njia that you will see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living because god has been good yes job akasema the lord gives and the lord taketh away blessed be the name of the living god and because job hata kama marafiki wake watatu walikuja na wakasimama hapo siku saba Hawasemi chochote kwa sababu wanasikia huzuni kwa yale ambayo yalifanyika lakini vile mambo kitabu ya Ayubu ilianza 
sio vile ilimalizia katika kitabu cha job 42 verse 10 to 14 after much trials and tribulation god restored job and the bible says the lord restored the fortunes of job when he prayed for his friends and the lord gave job twice as much as he as he had before then all his brothers and sisters and all who had known him before came to him and they ate bread with him in his house and they consoled him and comforted him over all the over all the distressing adversities that the lord had brought on him and each one gave him a piece of money and each one a ring of gold and the lord blessed the latter days of job more than his beginning for he had 14000 sheep 6000 camels a thousand yoke of oxen a thousand female donkeys he had seven sons and three daughters and he called the name of the first daughter jemima and the second and the name of the second kezia and the name of the third keren keren hapucha hallelujah hallelujah job alipopoteza wengine wakasema kuna kitu alifanya lakini mwanzo wake mwisho wake ulikuwa bora kuliko mwanzo wake na nimekuja nikuambie mpendwa that your latter days will be better than your former days you shall see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living ninaomba ya kwamba siku zako za kumalizia utacheka hautakaa kwa shida milele kuna siku Mungu atakufungulia mlango kuna siku Mungu atakuongezea upendo kuna siku Mungu atakubariki na utacheka utafurahi utasherekea kwa sababu utasema kuna siku nililia lakini Bwana amenipanguza machozi yangu yote haleluya the goodness of god wema wa Mungu kumfurahia Bwana hata kama hakuna kitu amenipa as long as i am breathing in and i am breathing out i have seen his goodness as long as my name is written in the book of life i have seen the goodness of the lord worship team please come i have seen the goodness of the lord wangapi wanaweza sema wameona mema ya mungu i have seen the goodness of the lord god has been good i cannot charge him for anything Bwana amekuwa mwaminifu. Bwana amekuwa mwema. Bwana nimeona mkono wake. Mambo mengi ametufanyia. Ni wakati wa kukumbuka kile ambacho Bwana amefanya katika maisha yako. Uhai ulionao, afya ulionao. Watoto Mungu amekubariki. Mpendwa Mungu amekupa. Kazi Mungu ambaye amekupa. Kukumbuka ya kwamba amekuwa mwema. Na kumwambia Bwana asante. Kama sio wewe, Bwana ningekuwa wapi? Bwana ningekuwa wapi? Shaka ya laba. Jesus. For your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been raised in your hand. From the moment that Yes Lord I lay my head and I will sing of the goodness the goodness of the Lord I love you Lord I love you Lord Yes for his mercy for your mercy never fails me Oh my day
I will see, I will see of the goodness of God. 